Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This patient was referred to us with a chief complaint of pain in the right joint. She is somewhat unique uh, in terms of this complaint since she is a music student playing a clarinet. And sometimes we have problems uh, with instruments causing TMJ disturbances. In this particular patient, there are additional problems uh, related to a tooth a molar which is apparently dying and is causing pain which uh, makes her trap between a painful joint and a painful tooth and keeps her oscillating between one side of the jaw and the other. How long have you had this complaint? Well the jaw has been bothering me since June and the tooth I guess about two and a half months, three months. Is the joint painful all the time or just when you move? Just when I move, when I play and when I eat. And if I'm lying uh, on my friend or something like that, it's painful. Have you had any treatment for this? No, I have not. Does anything relieve it? Any type no. of uh, medication, aspirin? No, I tried aspirin. Uh, for a while and didn't seem to have any effect. Is this the only episode that you've had of a painful joint? Well, three years ago, I think I damaged the tendons or ligaments, whatever is there, um, eating very hard granola. Did you have a, a sudden pain then when you were eating? Yes, it was very suddenly painful and after a few minutes it subsided to a certain degree. It seemed to heal up and come back every once in a while until June when it stayed. Does it bother you more at night uh, or in the morning? Uh, it seems to bother me after playing my clarinet or during playing it, especially if I'm tense. Concentrated hours of playing. It doesn't keep you from playing the clarinet though? It doesn't stop me from it, no. I wasn't playing when it hurt uh, to the extent it did in June, when I couldn't open my mouth very well. Let's see what kind of motions caused the pain. Would you open, please? Is this as wide as you can open? There's some limitation of opening. Is it tender over the joint? A little bit. Mm -hmm. Over the right joint. Would you move your jaw towards me? Does that hurt to move it in that direction? Move it in the other direction. You can move it farther that way before it hurts. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, close your teeth together. Squeeze hard. Does that hurt? Okay, open a bit. Now hold your jaw steady and let me push on your teeth. Does that hurt? Yeah. Okay. And I'll move your jaw sideways. Does that hurt? No. Does that hurt? Okay. When I move the jaw towards the affected side, it hurts. Now, do you know which one of the teeth uh, is bothering you back there? I think it's the last one. The last tooth on the upper or lower? Lower side. Okay. We'll put some articulating paper to check the occlusion. I won't be able to check it in centric relation because of the tenderness of the joint. Close down. Grit your teeth a little. Tap up and down. Move sideways a little like you're gritting. Does that hurt when you do mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now if you'll open See if we can find that contact. There is a light spot on the distal incline of the mesolingual cusp. And that's about the only contact. You can see facets of wear 
on the tooth in addition to that point of contact. Close. Can you move towards me just a little bit with your jaw, please? Move a little more, more. It's difficult to tell whether she has a balancing interference or not because of the pain she's having when I try to move her jaw uh, to the right. May I see how you uh, hold your embouchure when you play the clarinet, please? Do you want me to put in the guard? Oh, you use this, <coughs> this guard to play with? This prevents me from cutting into my lower lip after a lot oh, of practice. I see. Right. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, just a piece of acrylic over the lower teeth. How does that fit when you bring your back teeth together or try to? Uh -huh. Opens a bite. Kind of keratinized along the front surface here. Now, how do you hold that when you're playing your instrument? Over the top. Well, since you have your clarinet here, you can show us how you use it. Don't you play or just... Sure, go ahead. Let me see with the instrument in now. Put it in. Go ahead and hold it like you hold it. Okay, just relax a little. Let's see, okay. Is your joint bothering you at all now? Not right now. Mm -hmm. Let's see how you uh, play that instrument. Well, it is a little bit over here. A little bit sore on the right. This position uh, for long periods of time. Yeah, sometimes there is some draw movement which there shouldn't be when I'm playing fast. Mm -hmm. And if there's a lot of tension. And you had this before the uh, most recent problem started with your joint. Um, I had what? You had this device. Yes, I did. Oh. As far as you know, uh, that device doesn't relate at any point to the onset of your problems with the joint. It may contribute to it, I'm, I'm not sure. It wasn't the catalyst, I don't think, initially. Possibly a larger mouthpiece has aggravated it. You've had a change in the mouthpiece since you... Yes, and it, it's much... Uh, less comfortable. I have to open my mouth more with it. It seems to add more strain there. Well, I think what we'll do for this patient is to treat the tooth as it develops, do some occlusal adjustment on it, to remove any trauma that might exist from her occlusion. Uh, We'll treat conservatively uh, the joint problem, perhaps using a splint and later a occlusal adjustment. And if we do not get the response we would anticipate uh, for these uh, treatments, then we'll have to consider what effect uh, this little device might play in uh, perpetuating or ag aggravating uh, the TM joint. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. 
For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.